Right, as promised, let's bring you some more reaction to that huge breaking news re-Everton. They've just been deducted a further two points for breaking the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules for the season ending 22-23. We're now joined by the football finance expert, Kieran Maguire. Good to see you, Kieran. First of all, just explain in terms of it's just two points. Explain why you feel it's just two points this time around. Well, the, the original tariff was in fact five points, but Everton were in breach by around about £16.5 million. So that, that formed the initial basis of the deduction. Everton were then said, because they've already been uh, suffering uh, in terms of points deductions for 2021 and 2022 before, they had double jeopardy, double counting. So the commission reduced that five points down to three. And they also take, took into consideration the unique circumstances surrounding the Russian invasion of Ukraine and Everton's relationship with uh, Alicia Usmanov, and also the fact that Everton cooperated with the Commission and they took the further one point, which is, is where we are today with two points. Yeah, interestingly though, Kieran, you know, Everton are going to appeal. I mean, it feels like they're not satisfied with the fact that they did take all the mitigating circumstances into account enough. Yes, I think Everton do feel very angry. They feel that they have not been leadership from the Premier League um, in terms of giving guidance as to what the tariffs would be should there be a breach of the rules. They also feel that the Premier League has been very aggressive with regards to the interpretation of the interest charges in respect of the creation of Bramley Moor Dock, the new stadium, which is coming online in a year. And therefore, they feel that there's scope to further reduce that point deduction uh, down to one or zero. Yeah, it's interesting. Another point that they make on their statement, Everton, they say um, Everton remains committed to working collaboratively with the league on all matters relating to PSR, but is extremely concerned by the inconsistency of different commissions in respect of points deductions applied. Is that something you feel that needs to be looked at? Yes, the, the Premier League initially wanted a 10-point deduction with regards to Everton's first case. Um, Everton lost less money than Nottingham Forest did, and yet Nottingham Forest, uh, they, were, they were potentially going to get a seven or an eight-point deduction if the Premier League had got their way. So they are concerned that there has been a lack of consistency with regards to the process, the way that it's been applied, um, and, and that's giving no guidance to clubs as to how they should be conducting their affairs. Absolutely. And I say, and now they've got this other two points. I mean, we can see the table now. Uh, they're 16th at the moment. They've dropped a place. They're two points above that relegation zone. So it doesn't get any easier for Everton fans. Um, do we have a, a, a real risk on our hands here that the fact that this is, is going over a period, like you say, the double jeopardy situation, it's, it's stretching over like almost like a four year financial period, isn't it? Could we have a situation where next year they're in a situation where they could be facing further points deduction as well in terms of their 2023-24 season? You're absolutely right, Vicky, because once those accounts are, are announced, uh, we know that Everton lost £45 million in 2022, £89 million in 2023. So that gives us a total uh, yeah, way above the, the 100, uh, £105 million allowable limit. If they've lost further monies in 2024 and having made adjustments for um, what's happened in Ukraine, having made adjustments for the allowables, um, it, it would seem that there is a possible uh, adjustment unless they sell players before the 30th of June. And there's, there's the further issue, I think, in terms of the appeal, that the appeal could now take place and that's that judgment might not come out until after the end of the season, which would take away one of the, you know, the great days of the season, which is the final day, when at least you know whether it's tears or joy. Yeah, Kieran, just explain how that's going to play out, because could we have a situation come, what, May the 19th, whereby we've got a table with kind of asterisks for the bottom three, and then it's a week later, is that right, that we could have who actually does go down? Well, the, the backstop date, is my understanding, is around about the 24th or the 25th of May. So, so you are correct. And we might not know in, in, in the full details at the end of the season. We still have to wait. And it's, it's done on a sort of a cab rank approach when it comes to the Commission's activities. So we've got to have the Nottingham Forest appeal take, face, take place first. And once the Commission has communicated that to Forest and, that, and we've got a digestion there, we would then move on to the Everton case. Now, in an ideal situation, I'm sure this is the case for Everton fans, is that they are safe regardless of the, the two points. 
um, at the end of the season. And then we will know it was simply a case of, you know, are they 16th, 17th, 15th or whatever. Um, but if they are uh, in, in the bottom places, if they are in the relegation places and the appeal is still outstanding, then it will have a, a ludicrous situation in which we don't know who's going to be in the championship next season. Yeah, which does seem, as you say, the words ludicrous. Um, in terms of the appeal, we know they're going to appeal. Kieran, do you think they could be successful? They were successful the first time around, weren't they? Well, they were successful. They, they do feel that the issues on which they have concerns, which are specifically, I think, in relation to the interest charges in relation to the stadium and the lack of guidance which has come historically from the Premier League, as to how a tariff would be applied in respect of points deduction, does give them a case for litigation. And I'm sure that their legal briefings will be uh, along, those, along those lines. Just finally, Kieran, if they aren't successful, could they be facing a potential increase to that two points deduction? I don't think so. I mean, what we've seen in respect of red card appeals historically is that if they've been deemed to be um, facetious or flippant, um, then we have seen tariffs go up in respect of player uh, uh, suspensions. This wouldn't appear to be the case here because uh, Everton was successful in respect of their first appeal in, with regards to points of law. Their, their, their appeal here appears to be on both uh, accounting grounds, leadership grounds and governance grounds, all of which seem to be quite serious. Yeah, I would agree with that. Kieran, it's always good to get your thoughts on these matters. Thank you so much for joining us.